Hello, my name is Eddie Tofby. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of New York and London sugar markets. Ice raw sugar in New York. Until two weeks ago, the market had for the most part, since mid-January, run down along the underside of the purple highlighted upper time, currently at uh, 1810, the early November 2023 to mid-January 2024 bearish shift pitchfork. In late February for a few days, and then again in late March until early April, there had been strong drives higher over the upper time, but the moves failed and the bearish shift pitchfork repaired itself. The earlier attempts higher had defined some overhead resistances, notably the congestion between 2390 to 2408, and a combination of the congestion in the 2235 area. That's of the declining short medium moving average, highlighted in green on my daily chart, that's currently at 1954. Now remember this um, short medium moving average, um, it will come up again later. Plus the influence of the declining medium moving average, currently at 2096 back then. 10 weeks ago, prices started pushing down through the familiar stratified congestion zones between 2140 to 2148, 21 even to 2107, 2069 to 2076, 2047 and 2003. In general, indeed in general, this, gen this zone between 2100 down to 2010 also features as a congestion area from back between January and February 2017. Five weeks ago, the market pushed down through the bright red highlighted April 2020 to date uptrend currently at 1959 and then the bright red August 22 to date uptrend currently at 1892. But then it got stuck at the significant 21st century 50% absolute Fibonacci line that's below at 1809. Enough that after three weeks, prices turned and drove higher over the breached bright red green trend uptrend and towards the breached bright red uptrend where they then got stuck last week. However, the broken red uptrend was not on its own as in coming from above was that previously mentioned green highlighted short medium moving average currently 1954, which had effectively kept the market back at the start of April and was doing so again last week. The only mitigating feature is that we might just might have a nascent bull channel here formed over late May to date. Uh, this is not a very long one. That's currently 1890 to 1987. But I'm inclined right now to look at this skeptically as we also are still within the previously mentioned dark blue highlighted late February to date bear channel currently at 17 and a quarter to 20 even and it's much larger obviously. Right now we're closer to the upper bear channel line but going back a bit what I find interesting is that since roughly mid-April until two weeks ago, the market had been corralled in between the purple upper tine and a dark blue lower tine, uh, sorry, dark blue lower bear channel line. The corralling has been enough for a move that since mid-April, these two lines cr created a descending wedge pattern. The primary target X for such a pattern is up at about 2023, with a harder to reach secondary target X1 up in the 2092 area. Now, my doubts about the market getting up as far as that primary target X for a second consecutive week, as we are still within the dark blue bear channel and we need to break up and out of this pattern and soon. Even without this, we have a load of overhead congestion earlier detailed on the way up here. Now, this is this very recent break higher could be a blip upwards before turning back down which you sometimes get in such moves but to verify that we need to turn back down lower within this this week or maybe next week otherwise there is more to this move higher than initially meets the eye for a second consecutive week when I could I'd keep a close eye on that congestion between 1964 and 2004 the only other feature that I would draw your attention to is once again the monthly key reversal down we had in April as you can see, there's a lot riding on this one pattern. Ice Europe, white sugar in London. The market from the middle to the end of January had been wading down through stratified levels of support and turning them into resistances above, such that prices had a changeover gap in mid-April between 6.13.40 down to 5.80.30. <clears throat> the market had, during the rest of April and the start of May, 
tried to move up and fill this gap, but the success was minimal. And instead, we saw the creation of a bear flag in the middle of May. This brings me to a point I raised nine weeks ago, and I quote, over the last few weeks, I've been voicing a question here that I've been posing to myself. It is this, is the action since early December last year, is it developing into a double bottom or some sort of wedge or triangle pattern? Last week, it was still too early to tell, but I am more confident now, <coughs> excuse me, that the late December 2023 today action is perhaps a possible descending triangle. I have outlined the triangle on my daily chart in bright red, and it's currently at uh, 597.20 to 647.30. This is a pattern to watch, just in case it morphs into something else. End of quote. Now, I also added seven weeks ago, and I quote, now that we are here, it would seem appropriate to set out some potentials below for the possible and somewhat short-lived descending triangle pattern. That's a primary target X for such a pattern break. It would be down in the 544.80 zone, whilst a harder secondary target X1 would be down in the 497.60 zone, which is off the bottom of my daily chart. End of quote. Five weeks ago, prices moved down and reached the primary target X, leaving just the hardest reach target X1, which is now on my the bottom of my daily chart. I further added seven weeks ago that I thought there might be a possible bearish half hesitation pattern here as well. And this is where the action since mid-May to date comes in. Right now, it is a nascent bull channel, currently unmarked, unhighlighted, well it's marked but it's not highlighted, currently 544.40 to 570.90, but it would not be too hard to turn this May to date based action into another bear flag type pattern, especially as we now have coming in from above the declining, mm, declining short medium moving average, which is highlighted in green on my daily chart, and that's currently at 574.20. This is not the best piece of bearish influence I could see, has only really started acting as a cap back in mid-April, but it's still nevertheless sitting there and could prompt some action in the next week or two. One thing I know, that breaking up through the green short medium moving average could set up the bright red lower trend line of the descending triangle into the frame for this market. Finally, the one other feature that I would draw your attention to is once again the monthly key reversal down we saw in April. Without the changeover gap, this would not have happened. So you can see there is a lot riding on this one gap. Sugar white premium spread. I had previously spoken here some while ago now about two big picture items we've seen here on this weekly chart. We have the recurring big old bullish Andrews pitchfork from 2019 to 2021 highlighted in dark blue on my weekly chart with the lower time currently at 140 and a half tested, breached and possibly on the verge of being broken. We also have down here many of the moving averages between 130 uh, and a quarter to 130, no, in fact we have all of them, between 130 and a quarter and 139 and three quarters. Meanwhile above we have the congestion between 162 and three quarters to 164 and three quarters that had until recently the, the rising neckline extension of the June 2021 to May 22 reverse head and shoulders bottom, which is currently at 167 even, plus running through it, plus the 2012 high at 164 and three quarters. There was also a further congestion above between 173 and three quarters to 175 even, though after this we have a pretty clear area top side over congestion at 178 and a half, all the way up to the dark blue middle time, <clears throat> and that's way up at 214 and a half of that same bullish Andrews pitchfork. Nine weeks ago, the market made a huge combined weekly key reversal down and bearish engulfing pattern. I suspect this was in large part due to London sugar mouth changeovers, but nevertheless still effectively countered the previous week's bullish closing white marabozo. Thus, it is best to consider the dark blue lower tine along with the nearby moving averages as the key elements in this market, and no more than that for now. Thus, we come to last week's action of an indecisive spinning top after the previous week's bearish engulfing pattern. Prices closed for a second consecutive week below the medium moving average, currently at 139 and three quarters. And right now, the short moving average, currently at 134 and a quarter. 
Importantly, it was another close below the dark blue lower tine of the big old bullish Andrews Pitchfork from 2019 to 2021. We actually closed once more right on that June 2020 low at 134 and three quarters for the week. Prices did drop down to the 50% Fibonacci line of the August 2021 to September 2023 move at 131 and a quarter, but stopped and did not approach the flatlining long moving average, currently 130.5, and the 50% Fibonacci line of the August 2021 to September 22 move at 131 and a quarter. This has been the first time prices had been below the lower time, this grouping here since that break lower in early February 2023, unsuccessful break lower in February 2023. The earlier break was swiftly turned around the following week. Thus, I would continue to play, play, to continue to pay special attention to what happens over the next couple of weeks and where prices can maintain the bearish incentive and perhaps finally break down properly through the 50% Fibonacci line at 128 and three quarters. However, I have a suspicion that this market might go the way of the February 2023 action and rebound back up. Early indications this week, despite the move lower, still shows how strong the long moving average is. Um, that's currently at 130 and a quarter and the old 50% Fibonacci line of the July 2019 to September 22 move at 128 three quarters but it takes a whole week to make a weekly pattern as we see here. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit. Thank <laughs> you.